It's fair more use, about fair use. Share. It's more about the percentage. And I think those things play into mm-hmm. it. And then the other side of it is treatment, mm-hmm. you know, within their own organizations. Like, they're never, like, they, they don't. But it's not I mean, as exciting. It, you know, it's, it's not as exciting. It's not as exciting basketball. Yeah, you're not. They got a load of rims. I would watch a girl come down the lane. Ugh, on another, I would watch that. They need a load They're actually. Yo, yo, it's your boy for sure coming through the door, giving you everything you need and more. Gonna come chop it up real quick, man, about this Michael Porter Jr. for comments and uh and the reactions from Gil Lorena about what he said. Uh Lexi. Is that her name? I didn't even know she was in the WNBA, but we're gonna hear what she got to say in response. Uh put his foot in his mouth and like my issue with the pivot is they allow these guys to say things that they know is wrong and they just they just are like okay keep keep going keep going or they'll feed them more information for them to then double down on the stupid shit that they had just said so i mean there's like a lot to unpack in his like statements identifying us as females instead of women the whole time um that we can't get treated the same and then he he then says treatment to payment which are two completely different things we can still be treated with respect and they can respect our craft without us making 20 to 30 million dollars a year like those things are not like those, both of those things can happen. We cannot get paid. Th- this is a prime example of listen to respond, not listening to understand. Three million dollars, and we can be respected and treated well for being professional basketball players. Lowering the rims comment, you already know how I feel about that. It's stupid. It doesn't benefit me personally at all because I'm not gonna dunk. Yeah. I can't dunk on a ten foot rim. I'm definitely not gonna dunk on a nine foot rim. It's gonna fuck up my shooting. It's gonna fuck up everybody's shooting, and I just feel like. The way he plays basketball, like, he shoots a lot of threes. I just don't, you know, he doesn't dunk. He wants us basketball anymore. Right. And then let that go. Okay. Because of this style. Yes. If I do not adapt to this style, I okay. ruin the game for you. Lowering the rim for Duncan, style, and play a whole different style. The first time, and one of the, they all said it. I had no idea that uh, WNBA players looked like you. Mm-hmm. I've never seen one. Now that's it right there. I didn't even know you played in the WNBA until I seen you shooting uh, in that little tournament Gil had against the uh, mechanics. Um, what I want to say about this is, yeah, you shouldn't have the Lord of the Rims. But the WNBA, man, to be real, there's no marketability there, man. Like, when Cynthia Cooper and all of them was hooping, the WNBA was, was being watched. You know what I'm saying? The, the the NBA players was following. It was being supported. Soon as they retired, they pushed in the 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 the, the era that you know what I mean. Everybody messing with each other. You know what I mean? And when Cynthia and them coop, there's probably some people still doing it, but a lot of them was married. You know what I mean? And now it's not that and. Anybody can do whatever they want to do. It's not no knock. But I'm just telling y'all, it's not marketable. Like, men want to watch, straight men want to watch pretty women. You know what I'm saying? We're not watch, trying to watch no women that look like us. Not playing basketball. We're just going to watch the men. Like, y'all have females y'all could have promoted and pushed and could have marketed better and made y'all sport bigger. And then another thing is the way y'all playing. Y'all playing in the wrong time of the year. Y'all playing in the summertime. A lot of people don't even watch basketball. I mean, watch TV in the summer. They going on vacations and whatnot. Working, you know what I'm saying? Now enjoying the sun. So that's another problem with the, the times y'all play. You know, y'all playing in the middle of the summer and y'all not even playing that long. So that's a problem. The money is a problem, but don't nobody go to the games. Y'all trying to market for the younger girls that's wanting to be professionals. But what about the men? You know what I mean? Because it's men that's, it's parents, me and parents that, parents of some of these daughters. You know what I mean? And they don't want to see that. Like when they had the real Hoopers in, man, it, the WNBA was, was prospering. I mean, it wasn't flourishing, but it was getting some recognition. We had the Tamika Catchings and, you know what I mean? You had all those the the the, the comments when they went on their dynasty and you had Sue Bird. They they rolled her all the way out to you know what I'm saying till she couldn't go no more. They still riding Tarasi. It's like 
when y'all first got Skylar Diggins, she from my city. You know what I'm saying? When y'all first got her in the NBA, when Lil Wayne and Drake was trying to get at her, that was y'all trying to promote that and make her the face of the WNBA. Y'all didn't do that. Now y'all got a chance right now with the Kaylin Clarks, uh, what's the name, the Page from uh, UConn, the one that just came back from the ACL injury, her, Angel Reese, and there's one more. Uh, the one from Notre Dame. Oh, I can't remember her name. But, yeah, the one be getting all them steals and stuff. Um, Y'all going to have to make them the face of the WNBA. Especially Angie Reese. Y'all going to have to. Her and Caitlin Clark, y'all going to have to make them like the magic and bird. Y'all going to have to market them girls. Now, I'm trying to tell y'all if y'all trying to fix it. Now, Lexi, I feel what you, you know what I'm saying, with kind of what you're saying, but you wasn't really listening to understand. You you mad because y'all can't get what y'all want, but we're trying to tell y'all the product that y'all putting out is not that. You saying y'all hooping, but to the fans, they don't look at it like that. You know what I'm saying? So just like if you ask the NBA, is they putting out a good product right now? They're going to say, yeah, but the average, the casual fan don't believe that. They don't believe no defense being played. Now they didn't change the rules so much you can't even play defense. Now you can just travel all over the downs. Now you can dribble, take three steps to the left. Now it's like, man, it's too much now. Can't even you can't even play defense. You can switch pivots now. It's like, oh, man, it's just crazy. So, and I will say this though, they still playing defense. And that's a good thing. Don't take that out. But y'all got to have some marketable females, man. That's the problem. Yeah, y'all out there hooping. But y'all ain't got nobody that's bringing no attention in, putting nobody in these seats. And that's the problem. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can ball out y'all hearts out. But if y'all got nobody to market and nobody can fill up them seats, how the hell y'all going to get the money that y'all think y'all deserve? If the arena is empty, the team's going to negative, and then the season ain't even that long. How are they supposed to pay y'all? So I'm trying to tell y'all, this class that's about to come in, the Angel Reese, the Caitlin Clark, the uh, Paige, the girl from UConn, and the other ones. When these females come in, y'all got to make them the face of the WNBA. If y'all don't, it's going to stay where it's at, and it's going to keep going down. And then y'all got some girls in there that really be hooping. But, like I said, they're not marketable. Men don't want to watch it because the females are built like dudes. And I'm not trying to knock nobody. I don't want nobody to get offended like I'm trying to bash nobody or nothing. I'm just having a real conversation. Like... You're it. You're gonna have to trick the public. I'm just gonna put it like that. We know, you know, what I'm saying 95, about well, not 90, 95, but at least 80 percent of the WNBA. We already know. So you're gonna have to trick the public and put the ones that's not the face. That's what you're gonna have to do. Otherwise, it's gonna keep declining. You know what I'm saying? Unless somebody do something crazy. Even when old girl, she scored the, the, the 50 ball. That didn't really get too much publicity. Got a little sports in their thing, but that's what I'm saying. Y'all got some females in there that's really hooping. As far as the, the hooping and y'all, the product overall, yeah, the females out there hooping. You can't take that away. But like I said, there's no marketability going on. Like the girl on Gills Arena, like I said, I didn't even know she played basketball. She she don't look like a basketball player. And that's a good thing. It should be more females like that. She should be getting pushed more. So, like, y'all got to really push the females, man. Y'all got to really push them. If y'all got some cuties out there 
one of these teams. Y'all got to push him, man. Now, the OGs might get mad, but y'all got to tell them, look here, man, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring us money. Because if y'all marketing them, y'all can get advertisements. People might want to use these females for ads and commercials and stuff like that. Because at the end of the day, y'all still the WNBA. So if you market these females and and and, and put a, a scope on them and an eye on them where they can get seen and they attractive, they're going to get some eyes on them and they're going to get more money and more eyes coming to the WNBA. So there's not no bash or knocking, you know what I'm saying, on what's going on. This is an honest, which y'all, this is a, a man that's been watching sports and tell y'all exactly what y'all need to do to get some viewers. It's not no knock, but I'm just answering the question that's that's going on, and they and they going back and forth. They don't need to go back and forth. Here's the solution: market the women that are women that are cute. Like I said, you're gonna have to trick the public. Bring them in. Bring some. Some advertisers in. Promote these women, man. I'm telling you, when Angie Reese and all of them come in next year, you got to make them the face of the WNBA soon as they get drafted. Y'all going to have to get them old coaches out of there. Bill Lambeers and, you know what I mean, all them, get them out of there, man. Get some young coaches in there. One of y'all better go drop a bag on Don Staley and then one in there or something like that. Get some female coaches that can relate to these females, too. You know what I'm saying? So, some younger ones. You got to do it, man. It's, it can be done. But, they got to be willing to listen to understand instead of listening to respond. As long as they listen and respond, they never get it. But they listen and understand and taking heed and constructive criticism. That's what this is right here. They can fix it, but yeah, but yeah, as long as you got people that just listening for whatever reason, just talk and be heard, it'll never work. So, uh, yeah, Lexi. From Gills Arena. It's just my take on it. You know. She got to promote better. That's just what I think. It's your boy for show. For show TV. The best TV. Still in rehab. Back surgery, man. Still giving y'all these videos and pain. I'm about to get up out of here. Because I can't be sitting up too long. This pain get to kick in my butt. I'm not going to ask y'all like, share, subscribe. I'm just going to ask y'all watch another video, man. Then watch another video. Then you'll like, share, subscribe. I'll let y'all.